Good morning and welcome to Thursday morning prayer and it's good to welcome you at this hour and we pray this morning especially for dear brother Matthew and his family who are in deep mourning at the loss of Matthew's wife's brother's partner. Just excuse me, the doorbell is gone. Sorry about that, dear friends, it was the postman. So we're remembering Brother Matthew, but we're also remembering members of our community on the East Coast of America, Sister Eleanor and Elizabeth in Philadelphia, and dear Sister Buffy um, down near Charlestown. So we pray for the people of America facing these horrendous blizzards today. So we light this light and we call on our Father, Mother, God, who knows us by name, who's called us by name. And all God asks of us today is to be still, to be silent and to receive his love. God's healing love. So we pray for the fresh outpouring of God's Holy Spirit on all gathered here and all whom we are remembering in our prayers this morning and not forgetting our dear brother Matthew and his family at this hour. Amen. So we begin by ringing our little bells for unity and peace in this beautiful world, the Cathedral of God. And as we begin, we share with you the prologue of our brother and sister Essenes of Mount Sinai. And we say together, we enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly mother and all the great masters and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Thursday morning, we commune with the angel of water saying, angel of water, enter my blood and give the water of life to my entire body. And as we say this, we contemplate the angel of water in rivers, lakes, seas, or anywhere where the angel of water is left intensifying and directing the circulation of the blood. And as it would have it, the angels of water are pouring down rain here in Cumbria this morning. It's a dank, dull, wet Thursday morning but we rejoice and we celebrate so our first reading is from favorite prayers chosen by ordinary people from all walks of life and the prayer I got early this morning is by Joe Parham a solicitor's clerk <clears throat> and it's on the theme of love Love bade me welcome, yet my soul drew back. Guilty of dust and sin, but quick-eyed love observing me grow slack from my first entrance in, drew nearer to me, sweetly questioning if I lack anything. A guest I answered, worthy to be here. Love said, you shall be here. I, th I, the, unkin the unkind, ungrateful, ah, my, my dear, I cannot look on thee. Love took my hand and smiling did reply, 
who made the eyes but I? Truth, Lord, but I have marred them. Let my shame go where it doth deserve. And know you not, says love, who bore the blame. My dear, then I will serve. You must sit down, says love, and taste my meat. So I did sit and eat. And that was taken by a beautiful poem from the late George Herbert, who crossed over in 1633, hence the old English language. And from <clears throat> our little book of Celtic prayers, our opening prayer for Thursday morning. O loving Christ who died upon the tree of life, each day and each night, I remember your love. In my lying down and in my rising up, in life and in death, you are my health and you are my peace. Each day and each night I remember your forgiveness, bestowed on me so gently and generously, each day and each night, may I be fuller in love with you. And now for our hymn, <clears throat> from our Unitarian brothers and sisters. So let's read, and the theme in, in our childhood's understanding is the theme of the hymn. In our childhood's understanding, life seemed limitless and free. Now we face the contemplation of our own mortality Life seemed simple spread before us, now distorted, futile, flawed. Childlike hope has been extinguished, fear with understanding spawned. Here in doubt and dereliction, searching for the reason why, hoping prayer might kindle kindness, hoping you might hear our cry. Now we're startled by the stillness Stark surprise that you are there. Then we're blinded by the dazzle of the dawning of your care. That's by Andrew Pratt, born in 1948. And now we come <clears throat> to Psalms now, an Old Testament Psalm brought into the modern 21st century by the Reverend Leslie Pratt. And our Psalm this morning is Psalm 30. In a world where there are people who assume you no longer exist, I am compelled to proclaim your praises, O God. I cannot define or describe you, but I know by personal experience your power and presence in my life. There was a time when I screamed, Good Lord, where are you? Then you touched my despairing soul with healing and delivered me from my private little hell. Thus I shout God's praises and exhort all who know him to do the same. There are times when I feel God's anger, but even then I know his concern and love for me remain eternal. And my nights of despair resolve into the dawn of new joy. There was a time when I thought I was secure amidst my material accumulations. However, they gathered like a cloud to blot out the face of God, and I was left empty and unfulfilled. I finally came to my senses and returned to you, O oh God. Lord, I said, my well-deserved damnation would also be a loss to you. I cannot praise you from the pits of hell or proclaim your loving kindness out of the grave of eternal death. So have mercy, Lord, and help me out 
of this tangled web. And you turned my griping into gratitude, my screams of despair into proclamations of joy. Now I can explode with praises and I will spend eternity in thanksgiving to you. Oh, those words are so powerful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let us just relax for a moment and just call on the Holy Spirit of God to speak with us. Breathe on us, O breath of God. Fill us with life in you that we might love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. Breathe on all our prayer companions here, O Lord. Fill us with life in you that we might love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. Breathe on dear brother Matthew, O Lord, and fill him with life in you that he might love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. Let us be still. And as we take a deep breath, we breathe in the very breath of God. And we allow that breath flow through our mind, our body and our spirit. Just be still. Be still. Thank you. 
just for four to five minutes, let us just be still, for we are in the presence of God. And Jesus said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am with you. Well, on our live stream channel, there are six. On our Facebook page, it says three, but there are more than three. So we say, Lord Jesus, good morning and welcome. We come to you and we invite you into our heart. And we ask you, dear Lord, to give each one of us right now the inner strength that we need to listen to your voice and to make time today to nourish your love for us. But we come to you, Lord, with requests and many intentions received from your children. We pray today for dear brother Matthew and for his dear wife, whose brother is mourning the loss of his young partner, found dead in his sleep on New Year's Eve. And only 30 years young, we know that it is a hard one to understand why. And Matthew is there looking after the children and all the animals. And being an obedient servant to you, Lord, we want to send love to our dear brother and his wife and family, and to say we are there for you. We uphold you before the Lord God, and we thank God for giving you all the strength to endure whatever with joy. As we bring each other now, we invite you to name, bless, and release to the Christ whatever may be troubling you. And just leave it with Christ and give thanks. Give thanks as many times as you can and trust in God's word to you that when you call upon him, he will hear you and he will answer you and he will provide a solution, an outcome when the time is right for you to receive. But we pray today also for all the children of God living on the east coast of America where this snow bomb and arctic winds is due any time and we know that the elderly, the vulnerable, need our prayers, especially if the power goes down. So Lord, spare your people. Raise up a mighty army of prayer partners to send love, light and blessing to all of them on the east coast of America and Canada. We pray for our own community and we give thanks to God for all our brothers and sisters around the world living a simple life in joy without the dogma, without the fear, without the guilt, in just offering their life for unity and peace within all faiths and none. But we pray for our religious leaders to lead by example rather than lofty words. We pray for reconciliation and healing within the Abrahamic faith of Jew, Muslim and Christian. We pray for our homeless living in these bitterly cold winds and we thank God for the many volunteers who offer them sanctuary and shelter and food like they did when Brother Rob volunteered for the 12-hour shift on Monday evening. 
Lord, we thank you for your children who reach out and to offer support. And we pray for all our politicians that they represent their people with integrity. Let us be still and just give to the Lord your God all that you are as a beloved of God and receive God's blessing upon you. We prayed this morning for dear Jan, who's with us. We remember James, who's unwell, for Lynn, with Jan, for all gathered here and holding myself, Brother Rob and Brother Paul, Brother Murray and Harry. Thank you, Jan. And we remember Jan's brother, Lawrence. We remember here on our Facebook page, each one of you who've joined us, Matthew, Carl, Sandra, Helen, Rona, Magdalena, Carlo, Pondeo, Burlot. Welcome, dear brother. And we remember Dismas Sarah's joined us. Good morning, dear brother. And brother Kaj and sister Paula. And we remember all God's children of all faiths who may be struggling today. Let us open our arms to the wounded, the marginalized and the vulnerable in our society. And let us hold them before the Lord Christ, the physician of our soul. Together, let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give to us today our daily bread. Forgive us our stubbornness of heart, our unwillingness to make time to listen to your voice. For the times when we've procrastinated, protect us, dear Lord, from those evil vitriolic forces that seek to lead us astray and away from your love. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. So be it. And our closing prayer from the beautiful book of Celtic prayers from Iona, we read the following. Bless to us, O God, the earth beneath our feet. Bless to us, O God, the path on which we go. Bless to us, O God, the people whom we meet. O God of all gods, bless to us our life. And as I blow out this simple flame, I give thanks to the Lord Christ, who is our brother and teacher our mentor, and also who is the incarnate Son of God, for blessing you today, for enriching your life with God's inner peace. Amen. So go in peace to love and to serve our God, a God who has many names and none. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, paxet bonum, Om Shanti, Solo di Caritas, Salam Alaikum, and may the peace from the King of Peace, from the Queen of Peace, to you, God's prayer partners for peace. I pray that those of you who've given up your sleep, that you go back and have a restful sleep. And for the rest of us who are beginning our day, I wish you a peaceful day a joyful day despite the rain till we meet again around this table of love take care and god bless you amen